The idea of combining different aircraft capabilities seems straightforward, but in reality, it's a complex interplay of engineering, combat requirements, and pilot skill. Today, we'll dive into the intriguing story of the A-16, a proposed hybrid of the A-10 Thunderbolt II and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. In the 1980s, the U.S. Air Force launched an ambitious project to adapt the F-16 for close air support CAS, missions. This concept, named the A-16, sought to blend the agility of the F-16 with the powerful 30mm cannon and armor of the A-10. The goal was to create a CAS platform capable of surviving in contested airspace while delivering powerful ground attack capabilities. The A-16 project began with the Air Force setting aside several F-16s for modification. Engineers worked to integrate a 30mm cannon, similar to the GAU-8 Avenger found on the A-10, into the F-16 airframe. They also reinforced the wing structure to handle the increased stress of low altitude, high-G maneuvers typical in CAS missions. In theory, the A-16 would have combined the best of both aircraft. The f 16s speed and maneuverability would allow it to quickly enter and exit the battlefield, while the 30mm cannon would provide devastating firepower. The reinforced structure would have increased the A-16's survivability in the high-threat CAS environment. Two main approaches were considered for integrating the 30mm cannon, a built-in gun similar to the A-10's nose-mounted cannon, and a pod system attached to the f 16 centerline hardpoint. Both options presented challenges related to weight distribution, recoil management, and aircraft balance. The Air Force even designated a specific production block, Block 60, for these A-10 style modifications and converted two Block 15 F-16s for testing. However, the project ultimately faltered due to issues with gun overheating and airframe scorching. Training pilots for this hybrid aircraft would have been a complex process. Simulator time would have been essential, allowing pilots to practice the unique flight characteristics of a heavily armed F-16 without risking expensive prototype aircraft. Each hour in a simulator could have saved the Air Force significant costs compared to actual flight time. A major challenge for the A-16 concept was its vulnerability to enemy anti-aircraft fire. Unlike the heavily armored A-10, the F-16's lighter construction made it more susceptible to ground fire, a significant drawback for a CAS role. Despite the A-16's cancellation, the Air Force continued to explore ways to enhance the F-16's ground attack capabilities. During Operation Desert Storm, F-16s from the 174th Fighter Wing were equipped with the General Electric GPU-5-8 paved claw pod on their centerline station. This pod contained a 30mm GAU-13-4-barrel cannon, a derivative of the A-10 7-barrel gun. 